When your Monarch student logs in, they will be greeted with a user-friendly dashboard where they can find a list of their current assignments and projects front and center on their home screen. These assignments are based off of the schedule you created and the courses you customize for your student when setting up your homeschool. Assignments include an overview, objectives, any vocabulary terms, reading, and a variety of interactive learning options. Monarch assignments are media rich, containing video, games, and more to help enrich and reinforce concepts taught within the lessons. This interactivity presents content in a way that helps students better grasp what they are learning as well as encourages understanding and long-term retention. Hi, Mom! Spell the word culture. C U L T U R E. For our auditory learners, we also have a text to speech feature if your student benefits from the text being read aloud to them. To utilize this feature, you'll simply highlight the chunk of text that you'd like read out loud, and then you'll select the play button on the right side of the screen. It would be great to go and visit the ruins of the ancient city of Constantinople. Once your student has finished reading through the lesson and they have a good grasp on the content, they can begin working on their assignment. Your student's assignments will include questions such as matching, fill in the blank, multiple choice, and true and false. The number of attempts that a student gets on each assignment question can be decided in the setup section on the teacher dashboard. 85% of the grading in Monarch on these assignments is done for you. Students also can submit each answer separately and know immediately how they performed on that question. I can see right here that I got this question incorrect, but I do have two attempts remaining. With those two attempts, I can either go back and reread to see what I missed, or I can skip the problem and get extra help from my homeschool teacher. Obviously, with this true and false question, that makes it a little easier. I'll get a green check mark up here if I get it right, and then it'll automatically move me to the second question. While 85% of the grading is done for you in Monarch, that last bit of grading comes from questions like this that are essays, as well as projects within Monarch that your student will be assigned. When these types of questions are submitted, they are manually graded by the homeschool teacher because we know that many different homeschool teachers are looking for different components within the writing. Once your student has worked through all of the questions on the assignment, they can either leave the assignment and come back to it at a different time or scroll to the bottom and mark the lesson as complete. That assignment will then be submitted to you, the homeschool teacher, to either finish being graded if it does include an essay question or to show you the final grade your student received. <laughs>